one. Let us discuss this concept closure of a set. So if you have a matrix space XD, A is subset of X getting then closure of A. Let me write here. Then closure of A, closure of A is denoted as, okay, so we denote closure of A as A bar and is defined as, defined as A bar is equal to A union A dash. So you are familiar with A dash, that means set of all limit points of A. You can also call it as derived set. So if you take derived set union with A itself, then you will have a closure of A. Let us discuss few examples so you can easily understand this concept. Okay. See example. Uh, see consider a matrix space. Consider a matrix space RDU. DU means you know that usual matrix getting D of X, Y is equal to mod X minus Y. This matrix we have. I am considering a set A is equal to open interval 1 comma 2 see these examples already we have discussed okay for limit points to find a set of all limit points in our previous video so same example we are discussing here but for closure now a is equal to uh, open interval 1 comma 2 then you know that a dash that means derived set set of all limit points so set of all limits points of a will be close interval 1 comma 2 Therefore, we find a closure of A. So, A union A dash. So, this is equal to open interval 1 to union close interval 1 to. So, you know that open interval 1 to is subset of close interval 1 comma 2. So, therefore, their union will be obviously close interval 1 comma 2. Getting. So, if you know the derived set, that means set of all limit points of A, you can easily find closure of A just by taking union with A. Let us discuss second example. Okay, we are going to discuss second example here. So in second example, what will I do? I will consider B is equal to close interval 0, 1. So now I have taken close interval. So therefore B dash, that means set of all limit points. So you know that for a close interval or for a close set, all points will be limit points. So B, B dash is equal to this one. So therefore, b bar which is equal to b union b dash that means close interval 0 1 b dash is also close interval 0 1 both sets are same so union will be close interval 0 1 so in this way we find b bar let us discuss few more examples we have some space so let us use huh? so here i am considering a third example so c is equal to z z means set of all integers okay in the, that video we have already found out z dash Z dash that means derived set of Z set of all limit points. Actually, in a usual metric uh, in R, Z has no limit point getting. So therefore, C dash will be phi empty set. C dash, Z dash or you can simply mention here C dash here since we have all, already called it as C. So therefore, C bar is equal to C union C dash. C is Z, C dash is phi. So union will be Z. Since if you take union with empty set, you will have the original set. Let us discuss one more example. Uh, D is equal to Q set of our rational numbers. Okay, so you know that for set of our rational numbers between any two rationals, we have some few irrationals between them. Between any two irrationals, we have some rational between them. Okay, density theorem says this thing. So with the help of that, we can say all real numbers are limit points of set of all rational numbers. So therefore, D dash limit points of uh, rational numbers will be R since all real numbers are limit points of Q. So therefore D bar is equal to D union D dash D is equal to Q and D dash is R getting. So if you take union of rational numbers and real numbers. So you know that Q is subset of R. This Q is subset of R. So if you take union you will have the superset that means R getting. So yes few examples we have discussed. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.